Over the past two decades, changing climate has intensified natural disasters all over the world because hazards in one place are cautiously linked to weather conditions in the others. We at the United Nations Specialized Agency for, for Weather, Climate and Water and, and we are dealing with the National Meteorological and Hydrological Services which are responsibility for, for early warnings of, uh, of, of short-term weather events or so climate issues and water resource management in the member countries. Since the 1950s, WMO has pulled together its members from 191 states and territories to address the common challenges brought on by natural hazards. No one country in meteorology can do this alone. It was recognized more than a century ago, and since then, the World Meteorological Organization provides essential leadership in cooperation globally. So every country would have contribution and also access to the global information and global services. We are operating the global public good system where many, many nations take responsibility to help others in exchanging prediction and sharing knowledge. The critical importance of WMO is that to serve as a framework of collaboration which allow members and the same standard and the same format which enable people can understand each other. The key factor WMO members contribute to the disastrous reduction is the improvement of weather forecasting accuracy. Now we can reach the same accuracy at seven days with a 90% of confidence and in the weather pattern. They say that's the science, the real advancement all the governments, all the partners can rely on this information to take actions. In 2013, when Typhoon Haiyan struck the Philippines, requested by the government of Vietnam, WMO organized an emergency response team comprises of the weather surface of China, Hong Kong, China, and also the regional center in Japan and the evacuation of some 600,000 people was very effective in mitigating the hazard arising from Typhoon Haiyan. WMO provides regional and global support to all its members, each at different stages of socio-economic development. So in more developed countries, uh, systems are in place, uh, early alerts are in place, there's good response systems, but in many developing countries and small island states, uh, these systems are not in place, so um, the poverty and the lack of governance structures actually exacerbates the impact of disasters quite disproportionately. It's an encouraging fact that if we look at trends currently, less people die from disasters than they did 10 years ago. However, that trend is not homogeneous across all countries. And there are a number of countries, in particular low-income countries, and small island developing states where that trend is reversed. That means that the number of people losing their lives to disasters is actually trending up. And that is very much the rationale behind this new initiative that WMO and a number of partners have launched called CRUZ, where we're trying to help bridge the gap between some of the more advanced countries and those countries which don't have those systems in place. One can look up to see a piece of the blue sky. But together, we can see the skies of the Earth. WMO, we are really grateful and honored uh, to be uh, winners of the Wu Prize 2018. And we are planning to use the, the, the resources uh, uh, to enhance the global disaster risk reduction capacity, and especially support uh, uh, our developing country members in, in, in improving their, their service capability. <laughs>